I'm Iris. I'm Lily. I'm Matthew. And I'm Lilia. Okay, let's get started. So over the next few weeks, we're hitting the city streets and finding out what it means to wear the armor of God every day. First, let's play a game to get to know each other and see if you can spot what's true and what's false about the different things. If you think what I say is true, I want you to give me a thumbs up. But if you think what I say is false or not true, then give me a thumbs down. Okay, you ready? True or false, taxi cabs are yellow because that's the easiest color to spot. I think that's true. It's true. All right, true or false, Chicago's nickname is the Breezy City. Sorry, Matthew, you're wrong. That's not true. Chicago is known as the Windy City. True or false? God sees and God sees us and promises to always take care of us. Don't so, that is true. True or false? God might stop loving us if we keep doing wrong things. That's not true. Whenever we doubt God's love for us, we can remember that nothing we do can stop God from loving us. He loves us so much that he forgives us and wants us, or wants to help us do the right thing. True or false, God always keeps his promises. Yes, God is a promise maker and a promise keeper. True or false. We are here to have fun. That is so true. Welcome to Bible Story. Our lesson today is Jesus calms the storm. All right, Jesus, let's see you wave. Say hi. All right, one day Jesus waved goodbye to the crowds of people he had been teaching and helping because he wanted to head to the other side of the lake with his disciples. Disciples, you can wave goodbye to the crowd. The crowd too. Bye. Okay. Okay, Jesus and his disciples got into a boat and the disciples started rowing, rowing to the other side. Let's see, let's see, all the disciples rowed the boat. Alright, okay. Jesus was tired from teaching and helping many people. So he lied down in the in the back of the boat to take a nap. Here is a very lovely pillow of Jesus. Okay. On their journey to the other side of the lake, it began to storm. The wind was blowing really, really hard. And the waves were splashing water into the boat. How do you think the disciples were feeling in the middle of this storm? They stopped rowing and woke up Jesus to wake him up. The disciples said to him, Teacher, don't you care if, if we drown? Jesus did care. He cared a lot. So he got up and ordered the wind to stop. Okay. Then Jesus said to the waves, quiet, be still. Jesus, let, let's hear you say that to the waves. Quiet, be still. And right away, the wind and the waves calmed down. Then Jesus said to the disciples, why are you afraid? Why don't you have any faith? The disciples didn't answer Jesus. But they did talk about how the wind and the waves obeyed him that day. How do you how do you have have felt if if you were one of the disciples and saw the wind and waves obey Jesus? How would you have felt? I mean, I'd be amazed. Jesus was showing all the disciples that they could believe and trust all, all of God's promises because he's in control of everything, even the wind and waves. It's game time! Yeah! Sit down. All right.
right, so we're gonna be playing a game, Spot It. So what we have is, I'm gonna do two teams. Well, actually, no teams actually. So you're gonna be doing two cards. You have to find what is matching out of it. So in this one, as you can see, is obviously the track there because there's both the same. So we're just gonna go around each person to see if they can find the same matching thing. And at the end, I'll be asking some questions. All right, so first one is Lily. Can you find the same thing out of these two? The bikes. The bikes, good job. Keep those. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next person. Iris, can you find a matching thing out of these two? Five, the Four. coffee houses. Good job. All right, Lilia, can you find the same thing out of these two? Five, coffee houses. Four. All right, All right this, this one is for you. Can you find the same thing in the picture? Make sure you guys say it, but I'm gonna say the answer. It is the lamp things. Lamp purse. All lamp purse. right. That's the word. So back to Lily. What is this matching thing out of the these? The fire two? hydrant. That was so easy. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> what is the same thing out of these Five. three? The um, there. These two have benches. Those two have the bank things. Two. And then they have that the bulldozer. Oh, yeah. All right. Every card matches. So the winner is Iris. So I'm going to be asking a few questions to each one of them. Right, for Lily, someone is making fun of Ellie and calling her ugly. But God promised that everything he makes, includes Ellie, is wonderful and beautiful. What piece of God's armor can Ellie hold up to help her block that line. How about being ugly and remember God's promise? The belt of truth? No, the shield of faith. Ah. All right, Iris. There's a tornado warning and Lincoln is scared. Who's promised to take care of Lincoln? Lincoln. His promise? Yeah, who's promised to take care of Lincoln? God. God. Like, where is it? I'll think that later. Really? When Lincoln <laughs> holds up the shield of faith, what are, what are some pro God's promises that he can trust? Iris? Some promises. Um, he will never leave us or forsake us. And there's a lot. I'm trying to think of some more. Um, help me out, guys. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's a really good one. So it was God, God loves him, he will protect him, he will take care of him, God is in control of the storm. And what I was thinking about for Lincoln is Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> All right, this question is, someone tells Jake that he has to keep a secret from his parents or else he will get in trouble. Is that a lie? Yes, God promised to take care of Jake so he can do what's right and tell his parents about the secret. What piece of armor does Jake need to block the lie and God's trust promise? Three, two, one. It was like the first question, it's the shield of faith. Right. These last two questions are for all of y'all. All right. Even you, so make sure you, you try to answer. When Dawson hears her parents fighting again, she wonders if God even sees what's going on in her family. What why do you think Dawson is starting to believe? Um, that God is in control. That yeah. Close, but that God does not see her family. If she holds up the shield of faith, what will it help her remember? Yeah, God sees her family. And God sees her family. That God sees her family. Yes, God's promise that he sees us and will take care of us no matter what is happening in our family. All right, next question. This is the last question that we're gonna be answering. Ebony is sad because her cat died. If Ibani takes to God, 
talk to God about how she feels. Will he ignore her or comfort her? Comfort her. Comfort her. Yeah. Yes, God promised to comfort her, comfort us when we are sad. If Ebony starts to doubt that God hears her or cares about her, what can she do? Pray. Yeah, pray. Just like the first question and the third question, but it's, it's the same thing. Hold up the shirt of faith to talk to someone who has faith in God. We will hold up the shield of faith. It will block any lies that come our way and help us trust that God will do his promise, like comfort us when we are sad. All right. Okay, guys, let's do our PowerPoint. So our PowerPoint today is hold up, hold up. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. All right, let's try it with Matthew. You ready? Hold up. Hold up. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. All right, Lily. Hold up. The shield of faith. Hold up. The shield of faith. Hold up. The shield of faith. Everybody, hold up. The shield of faith. One piece of God's armor is the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit is actually the Bible. When we remember what the Bible says, we can use it against the enemy's lies and tricks. The devil may, may try to trick us into thinking that God's armor is not powerful, but we can memorize this verse to help us know the truth. Say it after me. Put on, Put on all of God's armor, all of God's armor, so then you can remain strong, so then you can remain strong, against the devil's evil plans, against the devil's evil plans, Ephesians 6, 11, Ephesians 6, 11, one more time, put on, put on, all of God's armor, all of God's armor, so then you can remain strong, so then you can remain strong, against the devil's evil plan, against the devil's evil plan, Ephesians 6, 11, Ephesians 6, 11, 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, so now I'm going to have a couple questions for you guys. So I'm going to be asking the people here. So first question, what does it mean to have faith in God? To have trust in Him and believe that he will fulfill your promise. That's a good answer. Okay, Lily, now I have a question for you. Have you ever had any doubts about God or his promises to us? And what were they? Um, yeah. So I was going through like a really hard time and I like forgot like everything. Like, and I forgot that God was in control. Mm, that's a good answer. Okay, Iris, what do you think the shoot of faith can give it, can give you power to do. Uh, stand strong against the devil's evil plans, like our Bible verse, and keep us, um, let us have faith in him that he can do anything, really. Those are some good answers. So we're just gonna close this time out in prayer. So everyone just bow their hand, bow your hand. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We have these kids to remember to put on the shield of faith and all of God's armor so we can stand strong against the devil's evil plans. And we pray that you just keep all these kids safe. I know this is a hard time for all of them. And we just pray that you can remind them that you are in control of God. And we just pray that we have an awesome week. And we just pray that everybody remembers that you are just in control of God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Aloha! Adios!